on and show you how I make um, another type of henna that I'm using. It's pretty much the same way, but I just wanted to probably do a review on this brand of henna. It's called God Godri Napur and it's 100% Mehendi. Um, I did a haul on this before. I found it in my local Indian mar market for $1.99. So I want to try it and I'm really intrigued by this product because it, oh Shaka Khan is on so I, I, that's what you hear in the background on the view. Anyway, so it's infused with a lot of other Ayurvedic powders like Shikaki, Brahmi, Aloe Vera, which is not um, Ayurvedic but it's in there. Uh, Methi, Br Bringraj, Amla, Neel and Hibiscus. So, and Jatam. Jatamansi and that prevents grain so I like that so I'm going to use this I've already boiled my tea I've used some Earl Grey tea usually I use green tea but um, I don't feel like using it so this is the container I'm going to use and I'll just pour it in and come back so it's 170 grams which is more than the Jamila carries so this is it looks like henna and it smells like henna so I'm gonna get my henna spoon which is a plastic spoon that I use to mix but um, Khadija from Henna Soup says it doesn't matter you can use stainless steel containers and so on. So let me just ring this out. I don't have any amla powder to use because to make it brown but I just wanted to see what it comes up with naturally. I have some rose water here and I think I'm going to use some jojoba oil to put in or avocado oil as a moisturizing aid to combat the drying effect. So it doesn't really give you directions but with henna you just have to eyeball it and put in what you feel like putting as far as making it to the consistency that you like. Add in some rose water. I'm really curious to see how this one works. It should work the same, but I just like the fact that it's infused with all the other powders. So, okay guys, I'm going to keep mixing and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so I'm finished um, doing it and it's all mixed to a puddingy consistency. So today's Thursday, tomorrow I'm going to set this aside so I can um, do my hair overnight Friday night. So that's it guys. I'll follow up and let you know how I like this um, for um, brand of henna. Okay guys, bye. Hey guys, so I'm halfway through my rinsing out process of my henna, the Napur henna, and I really like it. I've, yeah, I have a little mohawk thing going on. Um, the color payoff is so good, and I really like already how my hair feels. Um, it doesn't feel as dry as it would with the straight henna. I'm just shampooing my hair right now. I just came down from the laundry room because I wash, rinse my hair out in the laundry sink um, because it has a little spray attachment on there. So I used my uh, Simulating ther Therapy Shampoo because um, I don't know if you guys remember but the last time my I didn't wash it out the henna properly and my scalp was itching. So always use shampoo too. I had only used conditioner so I had to go back in with the shampoo but so far so good. Um, when I rinse out everything, I'll 
show you guys but I just like the feel of that henna I need to go and pick up some more I'm thinking if they still have it there so yeah uh, I'll be back hey guys I just came on to say that my hair was completely matted it had you know what I don't think it has anything to do with the henna itself in particular because henna definitely your hair gets tangled when you have it in it's you know and I had put it in straight from twist out I didn't wash it before because I'd washed it the day before however sorry guys um yeah so and this is what I'm saying like with longer hair the detangling process is so much lengthier I spent 36 minutes trying to detangle my whole head and I'm on the last bit here and the back of my hair is pretty easy to detangle because it's more like a 3C kind of texture um, so but it's in the middle well everywhere else took a while so I'm using my Denman brush after using this detangling comb from Sally's. I like this one now. At first I didn't really like it, but I do like it now. Um, and I gave away my other big detangling comb to my friend who has no clue about natural hair um, for her two girls. So I gave her that because she kept using these little flimsy combs that kept breaking in the kids hair and their hair is like 4A, 3C-ish, 4B, the, the range, so I gave her mine. So, yeah. Another thing guys, like most of my friends, family, people who are in my life, they don't know I'm on YouTube and I don't care to share that because this is my part of my life that if somebody happens to know me and come on here and see me fine but I don't go around broadcasting that I'm on YouTube because it's not for everybody and I I don't like having to explain unnecessary things to people so that's the deal and you might ask you know why don't I teach yeah so my friend with her daughters like some ways to detangle their hair and stuff but I, I never mentioned the whole YouTube thing because for some people, they just think being on the internet is some, it's almost lewd in a way. I mean, I think that's a strong word, but I just, uh, this is my activity, this is my hobby. I keep it to my darn self. Who knows knows, and so be it. And it's no hard feeling. So anyway, guys, I'm done. And this is my hair at the back. The back is longer than everywhere else. It goes faster at any rate. So anyway, I just came on to show you this. And um, the detangling process, I, what I do is use an extra slippery conditioner to do the detangling because I wash out most of the henna. I have to deep condition, but I use the Avon Naturals moisturizing conditioner because it's really good for detangling. And I'm done. So I'm going to rinse this out and then put my deep conditioning in. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So I'm going to deep condition my hair and... I didn't want to use my Karen's Body Beautiful um, because I just have one jar left, the one that Janae sent for me. So what I'm going to do is use this, I used to use this when I was, when I just became natural. The Island's Natural, Island Naturals Replenishing Conditioner. This is really, really good and I don't know why I stopped using it as a deep conditioner because I, it's too good for co-wash conditioner for me so it's really great it detangles controls and defines without weighing down hair and it's for dry frizzy hair so the twist to this is that I'm going to use this thing that Janae also sent for me which is the Hair Veda Indian Blends Vatica Frosting it's a herb infused coconut oil and it's a herbal blend restorative multi-use infused oil for sleep protection and conditioning 
brittle and dry hair restores the look of life to your hair and you ha it says multiple use because it is you can use it for pre-poo oil rinsing method the mo a moisture sealant and conditioner enhancing which is what I'm going to do now um, uh, it's your your to separate your if you have your conditioner mix three parts conditioner to one part oil and right now because as you know coconut oil does coagulate it's brand new and so I'm going to use um, probably double the recipe and use probably six parts of this because I have a lot of hair to two parts of this so this all it does is enhance the um, the conditioning properties of the conditioner your conditioner or deep conditioner you're using okay so I'm going to do that today okay so yeah be back Okay guys, so in wrapping up um, my impression of the Godrej Napur Henna, I really like it. I really like it. Um, I can see more of the color payoff in my hair. And I mean, I must say that sometimes when you do henna, when I do henna, you don't catch all of the grays. I don't see any of my grays evident, especially at the front. There's one here, but I mean, it's just because of my application. Um, it really has some red tones to it. I don't know if you can see it, but like right here, you can see the red on my edges and in the interior hair so I got full coverage okay and I'm really happy for that like for a dollar ninety nine plus it's infused with all those wonderful herbs I think I'm gonna go and see if I can get it again because y'all know Jamila is like seven bucks a pop I mean henna suit does have sales but y'all know I'm on a budget so I do have quite a few um, Jamila packs here but you know what? I am about saving money right now. I'm not trying to... I mean, I can always buy Jamila, but you're going to choose what is more wallet-friendly for you when the time... When you have to. Like, hello. Like, I'm not trying to ball. Okay? And this thing works. Plus, it has all the added stuff in there. So, um... I really like it and my deep conditioning really made my hair feel very good I like that Vatica oil and the fact that you can do so much with it really really loving that so I'm really really pleased about the outcome of this henna and it's nice to know that you can get some stuff on the ground I got Jamila for hair which is the less um, pigmented one at that same store but it's not as rich as Jamila but if I can get this for the dollar ninety nine as I said before I am gonna go for it okay I'm really really it gives more of a reddish tone than brown and it's a nice change for me because I usually just do the browner tones like add the amla or whatever in it to make it brown but whatever loving it okay guys so yeah I haven't done henna in a couple months so I was long overdue since my before my second to last protective style so my hair really feels soft guys really really feels um, on post henna like <laughs> if you know what I mean okay so that is it for now, y'all. Take care and bye. The wicked is time, me and my girl I come. Band American Speedy Place Tongue.